UnbelievableBeats.com This is Sean Friedman with Unbelievable Beats. Just wanted to give a tutorial on FL Studio and how to rewire with Reason. First thing you want to do is open up FL Studio. <clears throat> um, my workflow doesn't usually look like this, but for this tutorial I had to do it this way. Um, and you're going to want to have Reason installed on your computer. And to rewire, rewire Reason into FL Studio, you'll be able to use all the Reason sound modules in FL Studio in a channel in the FL Studio mixer and in the FL Studio playlist, just like any other sound. So, first thing you want to do is start an FL Studio project. I already started one here and I just saved it as FL Studio and Reason Rewired Tutorial. Go to Channels, Add One, and go down to Rewired. And as you can see right here, a rewired channel has been made. And it opens up. See when I click, it comes on and off. And you're going to want to stay on the Plugin tab. There's a miscellaneous tab and a function tab. Plugin tab is where you want to be. The client in this uh, in this situation, Reason is the client. FL Studio is the host, and Reason is the client. So I'm going to go Reason under Client, and then go to Show Panel, and it, it will actually launch Reason. Reason, Show Panel. I guess that's a pretty good real world example. There we go. Um, all right, now it's automatically in slave mode. It's a slave to FL Studio. That's exactly what you want. Um, so you can go ahead and create a subtractor just for this example. Red bass, I'll just stick with this. Okay. Uh, next thing you're going to do is. Um, you want to enable this multi outputs one little click right here bam in FL Studio and that's going to let you put these reason sound modules into the FL Studio mixer um, and in here this MIDI options tab within here again it shows these the stuff that you're adding in reason as you can see I added the subtractor in reason and it already knew that I added it right here and this is referring to it as channel 2 subtractor see it already it already knew that and if I add another one let's say I add a maelstrom okay I added a maelstrom and it should have registered here see I had to X out of it and go back in but now it's registered here maelstrom is number 3 um, just to show you one more time, uh, NXT, uh, it's, that's going to be, as far as FL Studio is concerned, that's going to be a channel 4. Back to MIDI options. Um, and there it is, channel 4. Now to get these working, you have to set up more channels in FL Studio and I'll show you how to do that and also you want to map this right here it automatically says input port 0 to reason 6 I'm not sure why it says that but you should go add and that's pretty much it go to channels here add a MIDI out rename this immediately uh, you can na name it whatever you want. Uh, Subtractor bread base is the patch. I'll just call it Subtractor. Now remember, Subtractor came up as number two. So in the box for Subtractor, which is a MIDI out channel, just renamed it. Go to number two. This is very important. See, you can go three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 16 you gotta be on two and then that then this channel make sure you select it it's playing
playing the subtractor. Now to get it on the FL Studio mixer so you have more control over it. You're going to want to do this. First of all, always save your project. Um, I, you name it the same same name as your FL Studio project. This current one is actually named as a tutorial. FL Studio Reason Rewired Tutorial. And then on my projects, as you can see, um, see back of car and get buck with smokes I always put with FL with FL just to remind myself yeah it was already there because I tried Camtasia before but just override that hit the tab key on reason to get to the back of this and this part's a little funny also but as far as the FL studio mixer is concerned putting this first one on channel 3. The main went to number 3. The main output of subtractor went to number 3 on this hardware device. Now I'm on subtractor, watch this. View mixer. It's gonna actually show up on insert 1. Gonna name it Subtractor bread base. Let's see if let's see if my theory is correct. It's very loud, and that's sometimes a problem. So adjust the volume here or on the mixer, uh, which is right here. So that's how I set up that first subtractor. And now you can do this for the same thing for your 16 MIDI channels, and I think even more of them, and set up the template in FL Studio and set up your template in Reason, and you won't have to ever deal with this stuff again. Uh, set up the next one. MIDI out. Remember back in your Reason plugin, Don't confuse these channel numbers. Do not confuse the MIDI options channel numbers with this hardware device or the mixer. There are three different things, and this is how you work it out. Um, so the second one, I'm going back MIDI options, remind myself here. Channel 3 was Maelstrom, so I gotta set up a MIDI out, channel 3. Maelstrom, bam. Which is gonna be channel 3 right there. And now Maelstrom, main output. Uh, you can right click, and it already knew that I sent the subtractor to 3. So it has a little star next to it, output 3, which actually went to mixer track 1 because it goes minus 2 when you do this. So I'm going to send it to output 4. Um, again, you can right click. I'm just using the left. If there's a left and a right, you can just use the left, and usually it comes out OK, especially for drums and most instruments as far as mono and stereo it, it, it kinda just comes out fine for stereo and it's it's usable I'm sending it to 4 and that's gonna show up now on insert number 2 of the FL Studio Mixer and that was for the Maelstrom I'm gonna go ahead and rename it before I even touch anything Maelstrom might be a little loud, let me just do this. There we go. And then you just do it again. Like it doesn't matter what order you actually do it once you get a hang of it. Unbelievablebeats.com